Good morning, welcome back everybody. Okay, so I'm downstairs at the moment in the apartment that they were doing. Um, as you can see, the whole place now has been completely skimmed. So you can kind of see around me, this is like the kitchen living room area and it's just, it just looks so much bigger now that the place is like been POP'd. So I'm actually waiting at the moment for a quote back from the guys for, to do painting. So I've just gone and bought two tubs of paint. I'm just walking you around. I bought two tubs of paint. Um, oyster white, I hope I've made the right choice because I had to look online because I didn't go myself to get it. So I'm hoping that the color's gonna be all right. If it's not, then I'm in big trouble. <laughs> so the window, there are a few little things that I noticed with the window, but this window that's in the bedroom, they need to put the burglar bar on it. So then you have to cut the one that was on the old window here in order for it to fit. But I did notice a few little things, which apparently is quite normal. So like you can see here, so you can see here there is a slight gap. I don't know, you can't really see it on camera. There you go. There is a slight gap on the window here. So they need to just come and do a few little corrections here. I think it's because the, the window itself is not, um, the window itself is, not straight that's why you've got that gap because at the top there's no gap down the bottom there's a little gap so they need to come and sort that out and do these little things and also sorry i'm holding the camera all over the place right and also here as well this was meant to be closed we forgot to put that into the quote when the guys came to do it which is why it wasn't done so the they're coming to do that another time but it will get done obviously before the painting and everything that needs to get done. It will just be um, plasterboard or plywood or something on it. I don't know, but it'll be done. The only other thing that I noticed down here, which I wasn't really too like happy about, was the bathroom. The bathroom, now the window has been made smaller and it's the glass is tinted. It's a little bit dark. It's a little bit dark in here. Look, can you notice the difference? Like, it's just a bit darker, so I'm like, oh. Um, I think they're gonna have to put some bars on this one too, I think, or maybe not, I don't know. I don't know if we should put, should we put bars on this window, this bathroom window? Because obviously when you open it, you only open one side, really, don't you? I don't know, I have to think about that. But yeah, so I think it's a little bit dark in here. Um, so either it's gonna be one of the places where you have just have to have light on all the time, or, I don't know what's gonna happen, it, but it is what it is. But the rest of the house is nice and bright and light, so I like that. The bars are out, the window's out. It's all out, it's all out. Straight access, so let's hope they get that blocked up today. Otherwise, someone's in big trouble, huh? So let's hope they do it today. Fast, 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 fast. Yeah. Okay, it's another day today and um, the guys are downstairs, they're doing painting. I've had such a hassle with the paint, honestly. I wanted something that was washable. And apparently only at certain stores they mix paint. And it's just long. And um, I wanted like an oyster white. Then I wanted the same paint that we used upstairs, which was Cloudy Sunday. And the price was ridiculous, it's crazy. It's gone up. It went up to like 1,000 something. 1,100, I'm coming. It went out to like one. Oh my gosh, I kicked over the coil. Hold on. Ooh. It went up to like one thousand one hundred or something like that. It's just crazy amount. Whereas the regular paint was seven hundred, or if that's the washable one was seven hundred. Or if you don't want washable and you want just normal matte paint, that was like five hundred and something. But I think I need something that I can easily wipe, just in case, you know. People put marks on the walls, it happens. Here walls get dirty so easy. So I think having something washable is an investment. So we ended up having to get brilliant white, which I think is a bit too bright. Um, it's nice to have the light in there, but I think it's a little bit too bright. So what we've done is we had some leftover point paint from the upstairs, which was the cloudy Sunday. So we're gonna mix it. So it just takes the edge off the brilliant part of the white, if that makes sense. And we're gonna just use that. So I'm just gonna check on what the guys are doing because right now, I believe that they are covering up the, the wall where the bedroom was, where those bars were, that just didn't make any sense. So I'm gonna go check right now. I 
washing machine used to be there, which was the inside of the house. And that place, there was a leak because I had a day where I um, ran out of water in the tank and I thought, oh, they've shut off the pipe. Oh, I'm gonna have to buy water, I didn't realize. And then when I bought the water, I bought two, two of the tanks of water to fill mine. And the next day it was empty again. And I was like, what the? And lo and behold, there was a leak. It was leaking from the washing machine area. So what I think happened was there was a lot of pressure and it burst the cap that was on the thing because we had removed the washing machine. And so it caused a leak everywhere. And so as you can see, the wall in the kitchen is just soaked damp. And so we have that yellow mark. So that needs to be treated somehow. Um, so finding out how we're gonna do that because obviously it's not nice having that yellow mark there, but I think the bricks are just wet. They're still wet from before, so that needs to be dealt with ASAP. Sorry, yeah, my battery died. So what I was saying is that, yeah, they need to come and treat it. So they're gonna come back and have another look just to make sure that there is not still something leaking there. There shouldn't be, um, but just in case, because the brick, it might just be that the bricks are still wet. So we need to find a way to treat that. And they need to put something on it. I don't know. Anyway, the plumber should be coming. I'm not sure when. Maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow or something like that. But hopefully that will solve the problem because I don't like watermarks and stuff like that. I want the place to be really, really nice. I want it to be very comfortable down there. And seeing those yellow parts and stuff, that's not comfortable for me anyway. Because I know how finicky I am. So I have to use that same standard. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, another day, another dollar. So, just bear with me. Just coming into the apartment. Um, yeah, so yesterday I wasn't around. Well, part of the day I was around, sorry. It's a bit wobbly, like putting you guys in the ship or something. Yeah, so yesterday I wasn't around, so I left the guys in here to paint, and I can immediately see the difference in this place. Like, it's so much brighter, it feels so much fresher. I feel like I'm having loads of ideas, creative ideas coming to mind as to what I want, you know? So, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about doing it. I think that this is only one coat though, so they need to come back and do a second coat. Um, you can see here as well, this is where the burglar bars were. This, you can hear it, plasterboard, right? So they've just basically put that in. It has got a bit of a step, if you know what I mean. Here, if you can see it. It's got a little bit of a step, so it goes in a bit. So what I may do is kind of do something here, I don't know, make it some type of feature or enhance it so it doesn't look like a mistake. Because right now it looks like this is weird. Do you know what I mean? It looks like, was this a window or what was it? So I want to make either make it look like it was deliberate and make it some type of feature or something. I need to think about that some more. Um, you can also see from this side as well. Sorry, it's a bit dark in here. Um, you can see from this side as well, they, this is completely smooth here, so they've just skimmed it. I don't think this has been painted yet. In fact, let's turn it like that so you can see it properly. So I don't think it's actually been painted yet. You can see it's a slightly different colour, so you can see where it is. It's very blatant. But by the time they're done, it shouldn't be so obvious that this was different to the rest of the room. So yeah, the room's looking good, looking good. Um, left their stuff here they've got to come back they're not here today um yeah so the wardrobe here i did get a quote for it in fact let me go to the other room yeah so the wardrobe um i had a couple of quotes back which were just i think just crazy way 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 too high for the kind of budget that i have i mean i want the place to be a luxury a luxury apartment type thing um but i don't want to obviously also spend money unnecessarily where I don't have to. So I know somebody in the comments mentioned that I should just get the window guys to put up two glass doors and make it that. But I'm also afraid of like breakage, even if it's tempered, I just, I don't know. So what I was actually thinking of making it a little bit bougie and get one of those hanging rails, you know, the fancy ones, put some fancy hangers on there. And so it's an open wardrobe because this is not really a long stay kind of place. It is an Airbnb, so people will be going in and out to come a week, days, whatever. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just going to probably make it bougie, see if I can get a really nice rack. I'll get them to dress it up really nice in there as well. Uh, anyway, I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. The ideas are in my head. I just need to find a way to implement them. 
I also want to think about this space, this kitchen, living room space too, and think a little bit more. I'm going to keep moving, right? Because this place is flooded with mosquitoes, right? Because when the workers come, they leave the doors and windows open for air, especially as they were painting. And this place is filled, man. And I'm wearing shorts, which is probably not the wisest thing to do right now. So yeah, um, I know we want to think a bit more about this space and how I can utilize it so that I can maximize the space without it feeling small, you know, you know. So I need to think about that. Now that the place has been a bit more cleared out and it has been whitewashed, it just feels like I can kind of flow a bit more of the ideas. So I'm actually really quite excited, really quite excited. I have a few ideas that I'm not going to tell you guys about because you might steal them. <laughs> so I'll keep that to myself for now, but <clears throat> yes, it's going well. <clears throat> lose my voice here. Yeah, it's going really well, so I'm very, very, very excited. Very excited. Um, yeah, I have lots more to show you as progress continues. It's another day. I mean, you guys must think that I'm always on camera just looking. Looking like a homeless person. <laughs> when I'm at home, I really just make no effort. I don't even know why I'm even saying this. Why am I even saying this? I just am. Because I am. For no reason. But anyway. Back to business. Yes. So right now, the downstairs we have the um, electrician. So I had some cables that were next to the apartment where the inverter used to be. And basically the cables were just all over the place. It was a mess. But it was never a problem for us because it was, in, it was actually inside the house. And it was at an area that no one ever went to. So it was... It wasn't really in eyesight for you to think about it. It was just there. And so now that we've broken open the back and made that an entrance way, we have to tidy up those wires. So I'm getting the electrician to do that now. So this morning he's gone and bought a box. I can't remember. What did he call it? He called it something. I don't know. Like a box. So it kind of like looks like a fuse box type thing. And so he can box everything in. So that's what they're working on at the moment. And I'm not sure if he's going to separate the two apartments because I realised that actually the two, the two apartments that are now two apartments, which were one was one apartment, they would actually have a joint electricity source. So really I need to separate those. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that or how he's going to do that, but I need to separate them so they're not... Does it make sense what I'm saying? So for example, like if there's light off, right, and I want to... We want to do a changeover i don't think it should affect both apartments the fuse box should be separate in each apartment do you know what i mean so say so, okay for example if a fuse somehow goes or whatever it shouldn't affect the other apartment one apartment should be able to forget forget you know what i'm saying forget I, I, i'm tired I'm, I'm tired to be honest with you i had a really long shoot yesterday um, I was out for most of the day. I didn't know it was going to take that long, but I was out for most of the day. And by the time I got back, right, I was exhausted. Like, exhausted. So that's why today I'm being a bit slow. For no reason except that I'm feeling very, very slow. So I'm unable to explain myself on camera. That's kind of useless to you guys, right? Anyway, let me go down and show you what I'm talking about. doing right so they've put the box into the wall and they're cementing it in and they're going to um tidy up the cables because you can see right there's a lot of cables a lot of cables which is not very safe so they're going to tidy it up and then i just also asked him um to separate the two apartments so originally the house was on solar mainly running with solar panels but because when i rent it out i'm not sure the person in there knows how to handle solar because you need to handle solar, right? Because it's not everything that can go on solar. Otherwise, you can um, overload the system and I don't want it to be damaged. So what I'm going to do is put the whole house back onto ECG again. And then afterwards, um, if there's light up or something like that, we're going to use the changeover switch. So you literally just flick the switch and then you run solar when it's light off. I mean, light off doesn't really happen that much anymore. But, but it's good to have a backup. 
and I'm not sure, perhaps you guys can help me actually, because I'm not sure if I need to have that solar running before I get someone in there. I mean, it's nice to have it, but do I need to do it right now? Or can it wait? I mean, when you do Airbnb, is there always a backup system? I'm not interested in a generator at all, even in the slightest. Um, but for the solar, is it necessary to have that up and running before I rent it out? I don't know. And remember, this is just Airbnb, right? So it's only people coming for like short stays, so two weeks, three weeks, a few days, that type of thing. I don't really want any long-term stay in there. I don't want anyone to come and stay for like six months. It just, it doesn't suit me, you know what I mean? <laughs> it doesn't suit me. That's not, not, not really what I'm looking for. So yeah, that's something for me to think about. But yeah, it definitely needs a changeover switch. Definitely, definitely needs a changeover. I don't know what this means, but I just did this. It means something, it means something. But yeah, when they're done the work, I'll let you guys see what it is, what's happening. Okay, so I'm back downstairs. Um, you can see they finished the job now, and this looks so much better. One million zillion billion zillion, whatever word you can think of. It looks much better. So here is what they've done. So you can see that they've plastered, they've put the cement in there, and they've put the box on the wall, and they've done the, net, the cables all nice and neat now. So the next thing I need to do, I need to get this closed off, because obviously I don't want this area exposed to um, whoever's going to come and stay here, because it's just, it's dangerous, and it's just not very nice to look at anyway. So I need to put something here. Um, I have a few ideas of what to do here. So. When the time's right, I'll do it. I'm not really, at the moment, working so much on the outside yet. I wanna make sure that everything in, inside the apartment is done how I want first, because that's where a lot of my cost is gonna go. Like, right now, I, I think I said, I think I said yesterday, uh, please don't ignore the mashup look. I don't wanna just do the video like this because I look so awful today. So basically, what I'm saying, yeah, is that, <laughs> I don't know why I'm on camera looking like this, you know, I look great, great. Anyway, let's just kick, let's just get past that, okay? Right, so yeah, um, the, the kitchen is gonna be coming soon. I've been told that it will take 10 to 12 days or something like that for it to be done. So I'm gonna wait for that to come. So I'm really, 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 really excited about seeing that. Because once the kitchen comes in here, then it's like another dimension, almost like another layer of stuff that's being done. So that's really, really cool. Um, you can see here as well, you see where the line, you see where the damp was, whereas it was very yellow. They've painted over it now. And I'm just kind of keeping an eye on it to see if it's still going to soak through or not. Um, it shouldn't, it shouldn't, because I believe that the walls were actually just wet from the leakage that we had. So it shouldn't come through again. It may do a little bit, but it shouldn't be as bad as what it was. If it is, then we may need to just wait a bit longer and then paint it again or something, or wherever they do it. I'm not even gonna pretend like I know what I'm saying, right? I'm not, I, ain't, I ain't even about to say something that I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, I don't know. If it comes through again, then we'll have to see what we can do about it. I don't know, something, some type of further course of action will have to happen. But let's leave it and let's see. Let's see. So yeah, it's all coming together, which is really, really exciting. Yeah, so it's all coming together. Um, I've got a few things that I need to go and get. So, so far I have been searching around for a bed and I have been looking for um, a sofa to put here as well. There are so many little things that you don't think of that you need to put in an apartment and it gets really pricey because obviously I'm gonna have to put a TV here. Um, I'm gonna have to get, um, you know, the, I have to buy a, a cooker, the extractor hoods, I have to buy all that stuff and it gets pretty pricey when you start totaling it up. I had a, like, I did a budget and so far my budget is not going well. My budget is almost out of the water. So um, I'm just doing what I can when I can. I'm trying not to stress about it too much because I believe where there is a will, there is a way. Um, it will get done, it will get done. Trust me, this apartment is gonna be ready before December for sure, but I want it to be done by October. October, no, did I say October, no? What month are we now? July, August, September, yeah, October. Yeah, I don't wanna take much longer than that to get it done. So I'm just gonna push as hard as possible. 
well, we'll see what happens. But anyway, I can't stand seeing my face anymore on this camera. I just can't. I'm gonna be back tomorrow and hopefully, um, I'm not gonna look like this. Do you know what I'm saying? Hey guys, it's another day. Um, yeah, so the other day, I was looking back at my footage because I was like, oh, let me see what I've collected over these days so that I can kind of put it together to make a video. And then I realized this window behind me here, the last time I showed it to you, it was just a gap. I hadn't done, nothing had been done to it. So I thought I'd come and explain. So this window here is the one that they took out and put on the other side. They cut it a bit smaller to fit the other side. And what they've done is they've bricked it up. So my, my worry here was that when they bricked this up, it was going to make inside incredibly dark because you've basically taken the window away. But to my surprise, in actual fact, um, when I went in there to look, it wasn't actually much different to what it was before. It actually looks almost exactly the same as when the window was there, which is good. I mean, not that I'm not going to put a window in there eventually, but hold on. Let me try open this door. Give me a second. Oh, the store, man. The thing is that when um, seasons change, right, if you have wood, it expands and contracts and it can be a little bit annoying. So here, you can see in here, I mean, although it is dark, it's not dark, dark, dark. You can see this is the other side. So this is, I really don't know why this part wasn't plastered. Don't ask me. I can't explain it to you. So just don't, just don't even waste your time asking. But yeah, so this is what we're basically left with. But it's okay. There is a small window here at the moment, this tiny little one here. Um, this whole place is gonna re be reconfigured because I want it to basically mirror the other side of the apartment. So that means in order to do that, we'll have to make some changes. So we're gonna have to break some walls, close some walls, open some walls and do a whole another thing. But that is all for another video because right now, I'm not even focusing on this one at all at all right now until the other one is up and running because as I say I've got a deadline um, to do but this one you can see it needs a lot of work we still have brick here we still have some stuff in here as well that needs to be sorted out um, it's going to take time so and I didn't want to work on two things at once because financially it didn't make sense for me to try and do that it was just going to be too much oh, stop. yeah it was just going to be too much so I just thought I'll work on one get that finished, get that up and running, making a little bit of money. And then once I'm good, I will start the second one. But the second, sorry, the second one is obviously gonna have a lot more work to do because it's doing a lot more reconfiguration rather than the first one. The first one didn't need to do, we didn't really need to do a lot to it, but the second one definitely needs a lot more work because this door, for example, is not gonna be here because this is the main entrance for the house and so we can't have someone having to come into the house in order to get to their apartment so this door is going to be closed up and moved to the back so there's a lot of work to do a lot of things to do but it's going to happen in time i'm reading this book ah oh, what's it called oh gosh she's going to tell me off now um the book is called think and grow rich did i say that right i can't remember anyway it's not about the title the title doesn't matter the, the point is what is inside the book so i've been reading that book and it's been absolutely amazing so far i haven't even got that far in it i'm probably about a quarter of the way through and the book is absolutely amazing because i actually really really love to read and i haven't read for so long and so i am rebirthing oh no i can hear my son crying upstairs oh dear <laughs> bumped into that yeah so I am rebirthing my um, interest that I have somehow managed to lose so yeah that's what's gonna happen oh my gosh this boy's crying but anyway I better go little one's crying gotta go so anyway if you haven't already subscribed to the channel I would love it if you do me a favor hit the subscribe button and the notification bell don't forget also like comment and share this video for me I'd appreciate it lots and lots and lots until the next time can you hear him? I am out Noti Baba